Uh, e com minha base do Great Student, do Sua Dasta, é a Beth Ellison Fanis, é a Visit Fanis, e a Beth had a job for this year. Uh, since then, I follow Alice's uh, all its which results, activities, career development very, clear, very closely. Uh, in particular, Alex. I was, I was so extremely happy as to join OPTV as my colleague eventually in 2010. <laughs> so we really had a great time together as a close colleague so during 2010, 2011. Uh, I think we will learn from this conference. Uh, Alex has uh, made many significant contributions to the broader spectrum of the research area. In terms of uh, hyperbolic conservation laws, STEM, and that, and then all right, patient, never stop the patient, connects patients, non local interval operators, uh, dynamic limits, and the mathematics for the chemists, among others. So, uh, over years, I find the, the analysis uh, is uh, the work that they all inspired me. So, I learned a lot for the year. Uh, so today I especially choose this topic as a highly motivated as the, as the Alex work and the, our scientific exchange. Uh, the to be the keeper of the Alex. Yeah, Alex is very happy to speak. So uh, in this talk I <coughs> I'm going to discuss the intrinsic phenomenon of the cavitation data allocations. Uh, concentration the counseling. Concentration in the solution of compressed oral patients uh, and the limit of PG in the dynamics. Uh, of course, this is the concept of oral patient. From the oldest, right, so still predominant, dominant, uh, the fundamentals for the dynamic of PG systems. Uh, the first equation of conservation mass, then momentum, uh, this is flash. The flash, you know, polytropic gas flash, density relation, so this is the relation. Okay. So this uh, system is a paradigm of the a fundamental class of nominal PD, we now call nominal hyperbolic conservation law. Sam did an excellent job at the beginning to explain that. So, uh, you could write down this form, solution system in this form, you know, the genetically. Then we say this system, hyperbolic means you take the uh, flux in the any direction, you know, the uh, omega, then this thing by a matrix to have a layer eigenvalues and a linear independent eigenvalues. Okay? So, the one of the challenge of the attack <laughs> such kind of nomin solve this kind of nomin singularities, okay, which leads to the many notions of solution are these continuous solutions, why the solutions, singular solutions. <coughs> so these continuous solutions involve of uh, many physical waves, like shock waves, vortex sheets, rotisky wave, and shock waves, so forth. We have been studied for the last 70 years extensively. Then another aspect of the contact is in the observation. I have been very active during the last few <laughs> years. We try to understand we continue the phenomenon of uh, most recently in constructed high oscillatory solutions, so called wide solutions, via convex integration, via the PDV and the security, as mentioned here. Yeah. So in today I will focus on other two. Type of phenomena of the uh, <laughs> one is convex uh, cavitation and the decavitation, the other concentration becomes concentration. But those two phenomena of are very fundamental for to understand the solution behaviors of the hyperbolic conservation law. Well, first, of course, first issue we want to understand uh, which solution, what, which class of solution should be in which space, in some spaces, okay? In order to understand, we have to understand those phenomena. The second, more importantly, we 
generically, the five entropy solution means we set the five entropy in quality, right? in consistent or sigma thermodynamics. It actually for entropy and the entropy flux is form. That's how it's set from the either called entropy Q and entropy flux. The requirement that we need this uh, is a pitching measure is less than equal zero and it's not convex entropy. But first point on whether it makes, makes sense this in quality. For example, the entropy interaction solution makes sure at least the distribution. Right? So in this sense, we have to understand this phenomena council changing habitation and, uh, and so forth. Okay. Uh, after all, for scalar conservation, now there's no problem because we have maximum principle. So there's no concentration. Data data infinity, solution infinity. So now for one dimension strict hardware system, if initial that BB with small oscillation, there's a Karim series, tells us initial total value bound and solution keeps the bound and total variation. And there are also no concentration cavity. Initially, away from vacuum, uh, and the concentration solution keeps the same form. Okay? So this is the, if you want to know this beautiful theorem and, or listen to the development, if you want to see more detail, I would recommend this to listen to three listen books and check that. So the problem now for the fundamental issue, what type of large data without the total variation? Right. The second, the non strict hyperbolic it fails. Now, of course, a more multi dimensional case can happen. Right. So, let me now first put some simple cases again already presented. The isotropic <laughs> all equations. You can relate the A to rho B, then this form, density, momentum, right? So, you compute the argument values, it's two by two system, you can the argument values. You find two eigenvalues in this form. Then the lambda one equal lambda two on vacuum state, the cavitation state. Still the hyperbolic fails near the to this. Yeah. So this can be generally <coughs> Now concentration the question where the density form the lambda mass in number that. And that's another question. Where does this phenomenon occur? Okay. If so, then we'll find this very really infinite. It will define the pleasure if it were to the curve. Then also leads to infinite properties. In terms of the hyperbolic, we call that the hyperbolicity of the finite properties. So that if there is some concentration, then it leads to infinite properties. Okay. So the question of how, where does those kind of phenomena occur? Well, this you can see now the simple Lima problem. For this system, you start the Lima data. Which define to very carefully, meaning you got two elevation wave. Initially, away from vacuum, room plus, room minus, degrees and zero, the jump. Okay? Then, very easy, you can find the solution, the two elevation wave inside vacuum. When T degrees and zero from initially the no vacuum, immediately jump to the form of the application. Right? So, this is a genetic for that. Of course, this is our logic part. We need to, well, we, we sometimes we want to think of what about like a logic part? Right? Transformation is what we're doing. Uh, so you do like a logic part, you need to then call the one over row specific volume. Then you can change this system become this P system. It turns out this vacuum, the cavitation, the reflection wave for isotropic all equation that become the P system. How solution become concentration top on the delacrimates. Initial data infinity function, t bigger than zero, immediately form the delacrimates with the weight t here, not here, that goes to zero. So, somehow, depending on which way, you know, we attack this problem, which form like a coordinate. If you do like a lot of like coordinates, <laughs> then like a lot of coordinate concentration in other form. Well, and nevertheless, for this system, we have now very happy we have existing theory, uh, no problem. As long as the initial data, you know, bounded, uh, mass density relation to bounded, we can get the global solution instead of find edge of inequality. Okay, I did do that because you don't have to use a um, vacuum, you include the vacuum. 
So you don't have very good estimate. The idea is to uh, measure value solution young measure complex compound idea. Point is the measure value solution because it's bound, initially the bound, measure values and complex point, then you do derivation to prove it. Now, this existence, but this problem now, why the open uniqueness is wide open? Yeah, you so many guess in the class mm -hmm. entropy solution. Okay. Uh, for so so called weak entropy, said by additional weak entropy <laughs> in quality, then you get the wide open. Okay. On the other hand, it's interesting to see the vacuum solution, I mean, in the lead fraction wave solution, I'm showing you earlier. This lead fraction wave solution has stability of uniqueness in that solution. Also, you have vacuum state, but it's stable. I mean, initially, it had, as long as it's close to the original, it had the L norm, this norm, the empty norm, it's stable. So, it's not bad. It looks, although you saw what degeneracy, but not so bad. This is uh, kind of interesting. Well, a lot of people didn't realize this is an interesting phenomenon. Now, come listen to the context example. Now, your uniqueness is out. It turns out, wow, it's really optimal somehow. Because there's an example if you share the solution with short or vortex sheets, you can construct infinite many wider solutions. But turns out, if you initially have the level of tension, then all the unique, so bigger contrast to that. Another thing I want to be more listening to is the Cheng King Cheng and Sam and uh, Alice. They have uniqueness so with DB stability right, solution. As long as they have a strong trace, right, you can get the uniqueness away from vacuum. So it uh, makes us thinking maybe this uniqueness is a harm to think about. One side of vacuum seems very, very bad, the other thing, other side also. Uh, Mm -hmm. Just a spawn from edge of quality, see where we can uh, prove uniqueness. Okay, so since so many young colleagues here, but uh, the one open problem here. Uh, okay, do that. Uh, now, next one, I want to show you a phenomenon called vanish pressure limit. This is related by scale, and this is related to infinite Mahan number limit. You take a scale and you can epsilon, so then you're one over Mahan number. Okay, so like a hyper, hyper, extreme hypersonic case. So then the same thing we're looking for the map problems. There are two cases. Okay. Uh, <coughs> so the we have the x t right there. So one case you I'll show you this when you can construct the initial just keep fix the map data. Then you find the intermediate step that fetch you. Okay? So you got a step that has a low star epsilon and V star epsilon. Uh, v star is too bigger than zero, but fixed each other. <laughs> so then you have a low minus, minus and the low plus, and the V plus. Then another case, short. Let's see what happens. X center T. Ready for the T here. Then you get one shot, two shot. And there's a fixed low minus D minus and low plus D plus. Okay, then you have the same here, low star epsilon, D star epsilon. You have the beginning, fixed epsilon, you have solution with non matching. Right? Then the question when epsilon goes to zero. What happens? Okay. So the first case, the infection wave case, it turns out that you find when epsilon goes to zero, then after certain epsilon, then this will skip it, leads to vacuum. Then the boundary will vacuum boundary. And the epsilon goes to this manifestation move, keep move up to left hand, left side of H. This is line inside H. Everything <laughs> started completely vacuum. Okay. Field by me. So that's how the pressure is case. Uh, after limit, you can rigorous prove that uh, way to that. So other case that more interesting. Oh, this is a phenomenon I just showed you, okay? Uh, maybe uh, just 
just the, if you're not, you get the moving around. The other case, you're too, too short. Epsilon goes there, the two shots start to close each other. Gradually. Low epsilon becoming bigger and big. Eventually, mm. two shot coincide from a okay. This is a sequence phenomenon. Your solution will be found here. Eventually, only slope with sigma you can determine by that. Then, this of course over complete shock. Then, all shock move, character move in. And the blackness form started from T, T delta, okay, weight of T. Initial no back, no concentration. Then as long as you present your concentration form before. Okay. So numerically you can see very clearly it is almost starting here, density, velocity. It's form. Then velocity keeps the you know step like step type function, but density now is shorter. From the from both sides growing, uh, for it to become small with this form, the form the glass. Okay, so this is the phenomena the little pressure for cavitation formation, cavitation and the concentration. Then another phenomena this the Yam mentioned the isosome case. The question now: gamma bigger than one has solution. Gamma equal one has solution. And the solution connects each other. Right. It comes out we can prove now. Gamma goes to one solution from gamma bigger than one solution converting with n to gamma equal one. Also, interesting phenomenon. Start the gamma bigger than with your vacuum, then pass the limit to this vacuum as a relax shock. Two V1, V2 bounds start closer to the uh, the vacuum becomes dense, it becomes zero, becomes one, it becomes zero. Zero become positive eventually. So I call this part decalitation in the process. A limit from that. But is this can be linear zero? Okay, so the limit for that. Okay, so this is for the process, the, the one-dimensional case. And you may ask what are the multi-dimensional case. Okay. So so we are now focus on the split symmetric case, see whether uh, this kind of phenomenon occur or multi the new phenomenon occur. So particularly one question that for the concentration or cavitation before at the origin. That the density becomes a blackness or zero at the origin, especially when focusing or defocusing split measure will be in or out. So for split symmetric solutions, then you can I uh, formulated this form, right? It's uh, the equation, this form, then you're looking for strict symmetric solution. So you have your density low in terms of radial velocity in this form scale. Now, low and the V are governed by this like 1D isotropic or like but geometric terms. Geometric length singularity, one of R. So R near origin, of course, R in singularity at infinity, both. Okay, there's some kind of uh, singularity. Right? So, the, what are defocusing here? Defocusing is actually, uh, I observed the part of why I go, you know, if initial data is this property for the strict symmetric solution, then this is invalid. invalid. You find the solution, solution also keeps this equality. So, it means the velocity of keep the biggest and zero. So, all flow will be bigger than that, equals infinity. Equal to infinity. Okay. So, of course, the, this is from the cavitation, the origin. The clearly, then you get the global solution in the kind of solution for that. So this is the defocusing case. So what are the focusing case? Special split symmetric curve of split wave move in water to origin. Of course, this is the well known solution form singularity. Okay, start with the uh, Gödeli, Koran, Friedrich. Now listen to me, they found the now new type of singularity of self similar solution. Origin, new origin, for that. Of course, such, those kind of solutions are no BV, even not the infinity is clear. So, question does concentration occur generically? That means uh, that is, does the density develop into a measure of origin, right? Generically, right? or just the L. Okay, then mathematically, that's one step. It turns out that we prove the following theorem. Yeah? The, the 
answer is we can prove that for we can say never stops type approximation approximate solution. We can prove the subsequence, this sequence converging to some limit. The limit function solution is a finite energy, I should say relative finite energy solution. Okay, so set five patient and keep the relative finite energy. Means uh, although the solution goes in 50, but it's uh, the final norm, final energy norm, and it's still LG bound. Okay, this is the theorem uh, as the limit of this process, zero, zero vanish limit. In this solution, uh, solution is still LP, but infinite probability without concentration of origin. Okay, so that also make it clear now. So we did the first paper, the logical zero, I think, the vacuum case. Then later on, we can remove condition for positive case. But this is a little bit of surprise to us at the beginning because you think about infinite boundary condition, infinite, that's bigger than zero. So mass keep going when time going on, mass could move in into the flow region. <laughs> the question whether infinite, you know, in the input in infinite with infinite probability speed, they can affect the behavior of solar technology. It turns out we can prove that still a level to find energy balance. Okay, so this is for all right patient case. The idea of, the, of course is related with the entropy analysis. Um, the entropy I introduced earlier before, then uh, the, uh, this two by two. So if this system has global linear invalence, then you can diagonalize these two equations from this form, then you get rid of Q, you're gonna stick on the wave equation, linear wave equation for entropy. Since we have singularity along the vacuum, then this will be singular sitting on the wave equation now the classical aura Poisson double equation. The alpha index is very important to determine the singularity of the solution of the wave equation at the vacuum. Okay? So of course now linear wave equation have two wave kernels, right? The signal equation, two kernels. But turn out the <coughs> Uh, we kernel of very nice. We can write the formula of this form. We can use it. The strong kernel goes to singular as low as to zero. So we somehow we had a problem to use the strong and entropy kernel. But it turns out we just use a weak entropy kernel. This is what the uh, they all this weak entropy here can generate the by this kernel. This is what the and uh, this is what another we call kinetic formulation by the and this is called the, yeah, this is kernel really related with connected formulas. So we're all right, And well, physical, for your physical entropy of part of mechanical energy, energy flux pairs with it. So main part of the proof, because this solution is not a bounded. So we have to develop LP compact and compact framework. This is what is the, Statement if we have any sequence, we don't have BB estimate. The question we're trying to use entropy, entropy here to prove compactness. So you need the LP boundary. Then this is all the spam now, weak entropy into flux. This is the weak entropy dissipation measures compact in H minus one. Then this is good enough to get a strong So this is the way, uh, because solution is not air positive, then we have to go here P. Then you can do it. Now, next question is for all our case. Next time, what about all Poisson equation? Yeah, all Poisson can have two cases, right? All Poisson equation. When the plasma, electronic field potential, the, the couple have all equation with the elliptic equation. Uh, other ones, the gravitational potential of gas star. So, especially the first case, the second is gravitational case. You know, the, your solution in like Fuchs in case, move, flow moving in, then plus gravitation. It's a solution from concentration of origin. Right. Additional force, right? So this problem related to the competition right here, when the pressure, if your density becomes larger, the pressure becomes larger, you push the flow more outside. Right? Or other gravi gravity, you pull the flow into the origin. So there's a some other good competition there. So more sensitive for that case, the 
where the concentration occurred at the origin. What turned out the Chapter Sika here the observation for state solution. It shows that as this focus on three dimensions, then gamma, if gamma large, the power of them, gamma bigger than six over five, he said he observed that it's necessary to ensure global existence of finite energy solution with finite mass. This global means state solution below. Okay. This is called the famous solution called Lang Eddy solution. So the gamma must be bigger than six over five. Okay. On the other hand, he even proved that even bigger than six five, or less than four over three, generically also you cannot find solution unless total mass in total mass less than chapter six are limit now. We call total mass less than some number. <coughs> Then you can guess. Okay, in my case. Now, for time dependent, the question this issue actually can understand now very well. Use elliptic theorem, the uh, following. You stay, you're looking for state to see similar kind of star solution. Now, you then reduce all you know, all our parts of the pool equation in this form. If you're looking for gas star vacuum, a bundle vacuum, right? So, then what happens? I introduce now Q point in the low gamma minus one. It turns out the Q satisfies the elliptic equation. Laplace Q equal F Q. Okay, the polynomial right hand side. Mm -hmm. But we know that elliptic people know that this is a sublinear, superlinear, uh, two cases. Right. Oh, I turned out, yeah, it's a one case, it's a little sublinear, correspond that. Then otherwise, you don't have solution. Okay. So this is the, you can check clearly uh, origin of the, the observation. I can prove rigorously method okay. so that for steady solution. Okay. Now for time-dependent problem, <coughs> uh, the gamma four over three, then now the Golden Leach and Webb in 1980, they construct a global a family. Self similar solution, but collapsing solutions. Then, most recently, the Go Childish J, they prove infinite number of solution collapse on means the forms concentration. Okay? When gamma between one and four over three, if Mach number is sufficient large, then you form concentration. This is the case to prove that. So the question now to close the argument, what about other cases? Can we get a global weight solution in the origin for those general bigger than four over three or six over five, uh, even under self gravitation, okay, where the concentration occurs? Uh, well, set up a problem for me. You can do the now uh, this initial value problem. Then I need the potential for asymptotic condition. Then, of course, fact is the finite internal energy, into the initial and total energy, then also initial mass. So, this is what the talk about quantity E0, M0, the quantity we want to capitalize for that. So, to now, now we can prove that uh, even with the gravitation, the result is almost the same. We can prove that the can. Never stops one some type of viscous solution, the compact. Okay. And uh, still converging to the uh, finite energy space submerging. Under condition, gamma of course bigger than this uh, the four over three. Then if between four, five, six over five, four over six, for three dimension case, you need the critical mass. <laughs> it's not the less than critical mass we can get. With no concentration. On the other hand, we have counted example. If less than four over three, then the conscious concentration. So this is a close argument. It has to answer depend on gamma, okay, dependent initial max. Okay, both for that occur. Uh, proof of the based on the design the approximate solutions with the for coming, we need to involve three boundary condition problems. You first introduce two parameters, the final approximate solution called compressor never stop transferring equations. Then main important called the uniform estimate of course. So this is how dependent B, independent B, independent epsilon. 
Then after that, we want to see proof that the particle state will get a global nervous start of quantum viscous solution. Then we want to prove the solution set by this uh, compensate compared framework. Then you can pass the limit at the cosine. Uh, so the approximate solution we introduced this form basically uh, very carefully to in order to get a global solution. Uh, what we did to the, the initial boundary value problem after the uh, This R and the T here. <laughs> we first are away from uh, origin. Then I call B minus one. Then here the B, very big. Then I took the free boundary, here free boundary problem. Then on the free boundary way, uh, condition is a V, T, B, T. And then this is a B, zero is a B, large enough. Okay, so we want to solve the problem, global solution. You can globally find the solution of this problem. And then, of course, the first step, we want to prove that the B goes to infinity. Okay, then if you want to try to get a global solution of complex of the nervous stuff for some equation for uh, initial, you know, push problem for that. Okay, so then you can uniform bound as for B and X and O. So this is the uh, one thing that you have, as well as the energy estimate. Now for kappa bigger than zero energy, as you can see that the interval to energy, then this is the mechanical, this is the total or little classical energy, this is potential energy for gravitation, potential energy. Then this term not bad, all positive, not negative. The problem now, kappa is bigger than zero. So these two terms are competition, right? Is the mechanic, is the little classical energy or the quantum, this is the gravitation energies. That will come to the two cases. If gamma is bigger than uh, 4 over 3, this dominant. Right. Okay. So that's the first case you can do. It. Second case, this will not dominate. But if you allow initial mass, if the mass comes through, right? initial mass is smaller than critical mass, then this will give the dominant effect. Okay, this is the way why I just explain why you know still can control that. As the way I allow you not. Okay, that was kind of example come out. Okay, then this is another very important estimate of this we control the estimate for the velocity, then we, we want the density, this is use the another estimate, this is a very important not true, it's on the three boundary we estimate here, and get a uniform bound it. Uh, then another thing we have to make sure the three boundary will not go back touch to the origin, okay, go back. We don't want the three boundary to go back to there. So it turns out we can estimate the free boundary always located the G minus two on the other side. Okay? So then G goes infinity is free boundary. <coughs> we control that. Okay, so there you got all I as well. so high integral variety estimate. So then, then you get to the existing global weak solution of complex maps of partial fishing, uh, set by what the estimate what we need, our estimate. Uh, the component is minus one and this is uniform value independent of its viscosity. Then you pass limit. Okay, then you get to the result. What the way I explained to you. Okay, so this is for gamma law case. Now there are other cases, but not the pleasure, not always gamma law, is uh, different gamma laws uh, near logos to zero, logos infinity. This typical the white ball star. Pleasure density with this form. Then pleasure as logos to zero like five over three. And pleasure the logos infinite four over three. A different index, not all of them. So then you have to handle the different general pleasure in our case. So then we handle now, you can assume, of course, we still assume hyperbolicity away from vacuum hyperbolicity, genial non duality. Then with asymptotic gamma one and gamma two. Okay. Include the special include the white dog star. Then we prove now this is the LP companion framework for this case. Uh, actually, we 
prove the boundaries we can do the same. And one difficulty is we could not prove compound h minus one, but we could compound h minus h minus minus one. But then we combine with additional another estimate, the basic first estimate, we can prove that still strong That's been it. Then the close uh, target for that. Okay. So <laughs> answer yes, even different um, uh, different powers still the same. So. Uh, another case uh, of the what happened in a semiconductor or other problems, the plus <laughs> we are talking about. <laughs> so for double profile, you the answer yes, we also can get a so know the whole estimate to them to compare. After an estimate more different, very different modality, but still you can get. Answer yes, still similar yeah, phenomenon, no concentration with this regime, but the, you get the final energy solutions. Okay. So I hope I now I'll give you several examples, show you. Also, the cavitation comes the cavitation comes to even those phenomena that occur in different degrees. But those kind of problems also occur other problems, like for example, <coughs> uh, short uh, reflection deflection problems. Uh, if for the angle here, wedge angle, <coughs> the kind of wedge angle, if wedge angle is smaller, then we form four wave configurations, then what form vorticity wave here. So the question now. <coughs> Does the cavitation constitute form at the original vorticity wave? Or what the large space uh, of the vorticity? <laughs> is this what the vortex sheet the uh, conduct? Or oh, those various questions also occur there. Uh, so, uh, yeah, in this uh, our book, we actually, in the last chapter, the way we the like 11 open problems in the book. Many of them actually also involve this uh, phenomenon, question, open question phenomena, concert, cavitation and concentration and so forth. One part, one problem like a limit problem, for example, the two dimensional limit problem rectangular, mm -hmm. it's very simple mm -hmm. thing, initially, huh? yeah. <laughs> then can you solve the problem? The other, I just show you about this whole picture, only in workshop waves, okay? They're already very complicated here. You see this uh, form, this kind of structure, form this cut structure is both. So the question is, what are the uh, legal analysis for solving why the open for that, uh, whether this form comes with training cavitation and so forth, were very helpful to solve the problem. Because this kind of solution is a building block, also determining uh, local structure of solution, general entropy solution model in any constitution law. Mm -hmm. Also, the quality of asymptotic state as well. So, listen to we have, uh, uh, yeah, this is the wide open, uh, this view. Yeah, I have a, a survey paper. There's there some progress, <laughs> and uh, the wide open has Okay, so I hope to convince you uh, those uh, intrinsic phenomena, quantitation, concentration, they are cool in many different places. And the solution is clear. Solution not the BD, not the LP infinity, but LP in many cases, but sometimes mesh. Okay? The question how to handle the solution uh, for this kind of issues. Uh, one, of course, uh, this minimal requirement, of course, the entropy quality. Eh? What kind of fine information we can get about solution? So this in part is for structure of equations. One of those ways uh, for entropy method for analysis entropy solutions slow the double dimension vector field. Okay, so connection with our entropy solution uh, with entropy inequality is the following. Observation very simple. Since we require this this uh, entropy dissipation measure less than zero, it is self measure the distribution. If a distribution is sign or upper bound low bound. Then this distribution must be a measure. So very nature, we find I don't think this vector field, the solution at here is a measure. So this tell means this, this vector field is a diverging measure vector field. So very simple connection, you know, but in terms of to solve the problem, really we have to deal with those kind of diverging measure vector. Very weak. Field. Okay. 
Well, this is actually an interesting. I saw this observation already to observe, but actually, so far, we find that this connection in our early paper with the flat in 1999. Then, after this, we yeah, developed the several papers to try to systematically study the family of this type of metabolic fields. Uh, Monica and I, we looked at the it's a positively short picture, <laughs> not <laughs> Yeah, interesting. We look at historic aspect and the motivation and the listen development. This after now, I'm very happy to see listen to the other connections. For example, the comprehensive integration that you hear, uh, the could get additional information about solutions. Also, another issue of the structures, connected formulation. Uh, also, Masso and the other, Elili, Odo, West, Dingenberg, they did uh, already some of uh, the beautiful results about strong trees. The problem, many problems are open, and they are quite, they are a lot of daily challenge. Uh, uh, I require further ideas, uh, new ideas, approach necessary. Okay. So, maybe I'll stop here and uh, have a good